and that's not good because that could cause some damage to the motorcycle. Good morning, YouTube. This is Cruise Man on a beautiful, cool Sunday morning. You know where I am. I'm leaving my uh, morning coffee at Einstein's in Capel, which is where I usually go on Sundays. Anyway, on my way back home, I thought I'd check in with you guys. Uh, welcome back to Cruise Man's Garage YouTube channel. The channel for everything Honda Goldwing. DIY tips and tricks. Accessory installation videos. And of course these uh, world famous motovlogs. If you are passionate about the Honda Goldwing or just motorcycling in general, I'd appreciate it if you'd take a second to click that little subscribe button down below and click the little bell icon. YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. So, I got a interesting message uh, the other day from Herm. I'm not going to use his last name. But the uh, content of his message or his question was pertaining to the parking brake on the 2018 Plus Goldwing. And he was basically saying that he was pretty disappointed in the in how Honda has integrated the parking brake. And he asked me to comment and my feelings, so I thought that'd be a good subject for a motor vlog. Since I'm kind of trying to go through all the different parts of the Goldwing. And certainly the parking brake is one of those parts, at least on the DCT model. And I kind of have to agree with Herm in, in one respect. It does seem like the, the way they uh, implemented the parking brake on this motorcycle uh, is a little bit of an afterthought. I mean, it's necessary to have a parking brake because of the DCT transmission. I suppose a better solution, if it were possible, and I'm sure Honda would have done it if it had been possible, would be to have uh, like like on a car when you put your car in park the transmission is locked and I think that would actually be a better more reliable solution than the parking brake because this parking brake does seem to have a tendency uh, the cable seems to have a tendency to stretch I, I adjusted my parking brake to where I could fully engage the parking brake by lifting up the handle to make basically the first click on the handle. And since I adjusted my parking brake the last time, I have not ridden off one time with the parking brake engaged. And I do use the parking brake every morning. And I have noticed in the last couple of months now I have to go up three clicks to get the parking brake to fully engage. Now that's an indication to me that somehow the cable is stretching and needing uh, more adjustment than you would think it would require. So I think the integration could have been better on the parking brake. Okay, I had to make a quick stop at the grocery store to pick up a few things. But I am back, and we were talking about the parking brake. So I think some sort of a, maybe a transmission-based or even electric parking brake might have been a better solution for the 2018 Plus Goldwing. But you know, it is what it is, and maybe somebody can come up with some sort of a improvement for the existing uh, system the way it works. It looks to me like the brake cable itself um, might be rather interesting to try to replace that because the cable goes from the left side of the motorcycle all the way over to the right side of the wheel which is where the parking brake is located 
and I know that when I adjusted mine the last time uh, I on the left side of the bike underneath the uh, I guess kind of underneath the top shelter area or the left side engine cover I noticed that I almost had to turn the little barrel, the adjustment barrel, all the way out to get it to adjust correctly. So I don't think I've got much more room for adjustment. It's almost like I would have to have a new cable. And I'm just wondering maybe if Honda didn't size these cables a little bit too long. Maybe the cable needed to be a quarter of an inch shorter or something. I'm just not sure. I haven't really taken it apart to really investigate the whole mechanism. But uh, for uh, Herm, I, I, you know, I feel your pain. I understand. I, I mean, my parking brake seems to work well when it's adjusted. Uh, it does a good job of holding the bike in place, but it's not real confidence in inspiring if the parking brake goes out of adjustment and the bike does start rolling on you. I've had that happen in the past. If you ride off a couple of times with the parking brake on, uh, you can end up in a situation pretty quick where you engage the parking brake and it will not hold the bike It will just start rolling on you And that's not good because that could cause some damage to the motorcycle and you know, like I say It's just not real confidence inspiring So I'm anxious to hear some of those of you that have the 2018 plus DCT transmission uh, And you have the parking brake. What is your opinion? of the parking brake the way it works and the way it's designed i'd be curious to know i may i might even put a little uh, uh you know a little poll up in the corner to see how many of you think the integration of the parking brake is good or think it should be improved personally i think it could use a little bit of improvement and of course we've talked about the the light on the dash and the fact that the parking brake could very easily be made to um, for where the bike would not start and or go into gear until the parking brake is disengaged and that that really should have just been built into the to the bike you know the can-am spider has that so it's not like it's rocket science so i'm just loving this 62 degree weather here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, which reminds me, I was watching a video last night, and it's a very good video if you're safety conscious and you're always looking for ways to improve your riding skills. I was watching a video by MC Rider, who also happens to be from the DFW area, and it was talking about the following distance between when you're on a motorcycle between you and the car or the vehicle in front of you and it's a really really great video and uh, all of mc riders videos are, are very good so if i know many of you are probably already subscribers to his channel um, but if you're not go check out mc rider he's got some really great safety tips and uh, he really knows this stuff when it comes to riding the bike safely he probably watches my motor vlogs and sees all the mistakes I make while I'm riding. But <clears throat> check him out. Also, um, my new videos, here comes the promotional part of my video. So for those of you that get triggered by that, now you could just go ahead and shut off the video. But if you're interested, if you have a 2018 plus Goldwing, I've got a new promotion starting this week. And it's the last chance you're going to have to buy my 2018 Plus Goldwing videos at the original price. So, I'm going to put a promo code up on the screen. If you use that promo code, you'll save 20% off the original price. The prices are going up on November the 1st because I've got some new videos that are going to be added to the series on November the 1st. The videos are done. But I'm going to give everybody a couple of weeks to go ahead and get one last shot at these videos at the original price. And you can save 20% on top of that. And if you buy the videos now, you'll get the new videos when they're released at no charge. So those videos will just show up in your library automatically. 
So anyway, thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs. Next time we're going to talk about the electric windshield on the 2018 Plus Goldwing. I'll give you my thoughts on that. So look for that next week. And thanks again for joining me today on Cruise Man's Motor Vlogs.